Okay, this is part two of the uh, Dell Inspiron E1505 screen removal. Uh, this time we'll get the screen uh, right out of the right out of the top cover. So first, uh, I'm taking off the the little rubber bumpers, the uh, screw caps here, and you know that's just simply. Um, See there they are getting a sharp little knife like my exact my exacto here and uh, working it in and popping it out. Um, I'm sticking them on a uh, candy bar wrapper. I figure that way the adhesive, you know, it'll still be good um, when I get to getting the new screen and putting it in. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of reading and researching and and uh, now, you know, I don't know if it's the inverter or the screen, so I guess I'm gonna just order a used screen. I found one on eBay for $59, so. But anyways, you take them off and then you have these little Phillips head screws inside there. Um, they will get removed, of course. So, but the first thing we got to do is to I'm going to I'm going to actually disconnect the the screen from the from the laptop and do it with it loose instead of all together there. screws up from there. Open this up. Yep, yeah, they're still there. I'm not worried about them damaging the screen since the screen is already damaged. Okay. We'll get the screws out from there. There's one. Two. Uh, yeah, these the front ones here are a little, little shorties too. The ones in the back are the long ones. Okay. Now we're going to set you there. Oh. Set the actual body down. I mean, it's good that way cuz you know if you keep this right off, you just keep keep the keep the actual computing part plugged right into a external monitor. And, uh, you know, it's like having a regular computer. I mean, a desktop <laughs> regular computer. All right, so we'll take these off. Take these screws. They're the same. No, they're different. The, the screws for the screen, they're shorties. But they have a little collar on them. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's not getting very clear. Anyways, they got a little collar. They look they're they're short like the like the one on the keyboard and the and the top screen screws. But these ones have a collar on them. There's a spacer, I'm sure. So, anyways, I've been researching this crap on the internet and. I think hopefully I'm gonna do this correctly because I've uh, never done it before so we'll see what happens here I guess the worst I could do is break it right and since it came from the dump it's not like I'm out anything but it would still be nice to have this a functioning laptop Okay, now, I think if I remember correctly, you're supposed to get your hands in here. Yep. Pull the bezel apart. Let's see. Yep. 
Okay, just. Hmm. I really don't want to break anything. But something just seems like it's. Alright, let me get a. A little flat tip here. Let's see if this will. Boy, the videos I was watching, it seemed like they just pulled these things right apart. Just feels like there's something. Oh, okay. <coughs> they just snap in there really hard, so. Ah, boy. Oh, okay. So, this is what you do. You grab the edge here and pull it towards you and lift. And then it comes right off. It gets it off from the... Gets it off from... Uh, from the little, little snappy things right here. I got them all over there. So... If you take it, pull it towards you this way, and lift, it pops it right off. Okay. Go here, repeat the same procedure. Okay, cool. Got that. That. Okay, so there's the bezel off. So, let's see, we got to get the, uh, screws off that hold the actual Screen in place. So let's see here. Okay, it looks like. Let me just try something here. I'll probably end up. Okay, well, we gotta get all them little screws out, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, all over the sides there. So let's have at it here. I'm gonna put my smaller Phillips head bit in. These here are really little screws, so don't drop them on the ground unless you have a pure white rug, or not even a rug, just a pure white tiled floor. Otherwise, I don't think you'd find them for a while. Funny how when you drop a screw, you, you think even get out a magnet, you know. I mean, it's amazing how far they'll travel once they hit the ground. All right, that out. Got that out. I've Okay, 
Let me get these little screws out of here. Boy, every one of these things got a little bit of Loctite on them. That's pretty cool. Could you imagine being the person that has to put Loctite on each one of them? Oh, see? I dropped the screw. Ha! Dumbass. That's alright. I'll probably put it together and have extra parts anyways. Alright, I'm going to set them all over here so that I can lose them later. Okay, got that off, that off. So now let's see here. Doo -ba -da -boo -boo. Well. Huh. What do you think about that? That was pretty easy. Here's the cover. Here's your wires for your Wi-Fi, your antenna. They run in there, then up, up along the outside of the cover, all the way over. Now let's see the one. The white ends here. The black runs all the way over to here. So that's pretty good, uh, you know, that's a pretty good size antenna. No wonder this thing picks up pretty good. Made in China, figures. LCD cover. So in case you wonder what kind of screen you have, because they have LEDs and LCDs. It says right here, LCD cover. So now I know when I get one, that, you know, I'll get an LCD. The screen itself, there, now, the uh, inverter has to be taken off because the ones I've seen, um, do not touch, do not touch, huh, wonder what all that's about, so, Let's see. This is the inverter down here. So that has to come off to put the new screen on. But when I get the new screen, we'll do that. That'll be another that'll be another video, but until then, you know, you can get it off, you can you can check out your model numbers. Let's see here. Yeah, it pretty much gives you all the information so that you can go ahead and buy a screen and, and feel you know that doesn't look like it's plugged in all the way. Can you see right there? Huh. There, now it's plugged in all the way. I wonder if that was causing a problem. Well, let's see. All right, that's it for now. See ya. I'll let you know if that was a problem. I'm going to hook it up and see if that, that was the issue. See ya. Bye. Okay, I decided I would uh, might as well try plugging this screen in um, on the same video just to see if it works just for the heck of it now oh I'm just going to uh, let's get you all right you gotta plug in right here so I'm gonna lift this keyboard up just to make things easier if I can find my screwdriver. Oh. What the hell did I do it? Oh, there it is. Okay, let me pop that ain't it. What in the flibber macker?
Uh, here it is. Okay. All right. So we got that popped up there. Popped up there. Okay, we're going to get this and plug her in. Right here. Just push that down in. And we'll hook the ground up. Okay, ground screw. Come on, come on, you little bitch. Okay. Okay, ground screws hooked up. Set you back down. All right, now I'm going to set the, uh, the screen. I'm going to use this plastic bezel to set it on. Just so I don't see any sparks flying. Okay. So that's hooked up there. Now I'll take the power adapter that I snagged from my wife's computer. Stick her in. Okay. Oh. It started to do something. No, I don't think we're. I don't think it's going to be a go. Fire back up here. Come on, turn on. plug it since I can't see what the heck's going on here plug her back in seem to be wanting to do anything. Alright, well, I thought I was going to have my eureka moment, but oh well, what the hell. Alright, see ya!